Hello kings and queens, it's your queen Jean and I am back again. Sorry for missing in action, but your girl is back. I'll tell you the entire story as I'm doing my makeup. So today we are, I'm going to show you guys how to glam yourselves, you know how to look gorgeous. So step one is to play the make and hair. Makeup, it's called Brandy Carls, the hair I have on my head. Are you seeing a girl on the cup? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing? Sorry for the reflection, but hey, hot like a heat. Oh. So, this is um hair, it's called Brandy Carls, it's from a company called Makeup Hair. We have three colors red, gold, yes, and then black. Sorry, I don't have black here, but you can just imagine this in black. So, yes, but um, the cover here, yes, um, this is me in black. I've just seen so you guys let's make sure that we glam ourselves look gorgeous look beautiful like me please dm for any questions ask me questions in the comments down below so let's go right into the video before i continue please don't forget to hit the like button please comment down below and please those who are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe baby subscribe so that your girl can keep creating content you know when i see you guys every day i get a new subscriber i feel motivated to create some work you get so I want to show you guys how I glam myself day to day look. I know I have been missing in action, like literally I have been off for some good time. You cannot be serious. And I really apologize, but you guys will understand while I keep working. But I hope we love what we create here. I want to just show you guys a simple day to day look, like a look you can do on a normal day. Simple, simple, you get. Because we have finally gotten a big ring light. <laughs> The reason why I've been missing in action, my ring light had a small ring like before, I think it was around 12 inches or 10 inches, I'm not really sure, but it broke, you guys just imagine how shattered I was, I was literally crying, I was so confused, I was so frustrated, that was my new way of creating content for you guys. So I was like, you know what, let me find ways, uh, I tried repairing it, tried everything but nothing. Then some two beautiful sweethearts helped me out, one of my bosses called Ken he's also an artist together with trevor they both contributed money so that i can be able to get the ring light i want but you guys let me first this ring light is are you seeing how i'm glowing with it hey it shows you every detail it comes with a remote you guys i can literally switch up yes have you seen and then i switch on hey if i want i can reduce i can change color it's over for us it's over it's over it's over but let's jump into the video but i want to thank you too so i hope i am actually forgiven i am really so 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 sorry for missing but now i am back we are back to still we are back to create content and we are back to show you guys and you know with this light now i can't be able to show you guys makeup tutorials because i was a little bit skeptic you know but now i can show so as we jump right into the tutorial the first thing i have to do is hold my hair man this is my baby cute thing Ha! My forehead! Forehead. I get and that was the finishing statement because <laughs> look at me. <laughs> what kind of GB is this? You guys like literally God said, let there be a forehead too. <laughs> oh, but still I'm still beautiful. You are fine as hell. So step one, make sure your eyebrows are cut okay so as you can see my eyebrows are cut and i'm just brushing them sorry i'm going to be a little looking a little bit down so that because i have a mirror that's helping me like see what i'm doing again so step one is to brush your eyebrows and make sure they are trimmed a little bit you get you guys know that my content is all about beauty because me i'm into beauty so i really hope you guys are ready to be glammed um you all of you know that makeup school is quite expensive and i would of course advise someone to go to makeup school but if you can't afford it why not use youtube because data is not that expensive as a makeup school and once you get to learn the different ways you can easily adjust you get sorry i forgot to tell you i'm using a pen the the eyebrow pencil i'm using is davis i prefer davis i don't know um i do not like a woman what okay me i prefer davis the label has gotten off but it's davis so this is the shade i am using yeah so what's the name of the shade i don't know but just get brown 
so uh yeah so you first have to start by demarcating like the eyebrows and then you brush with a is it called a spoolie this yeah so you brush your uh, your brows so that your brows are up like you because you want a natural kind of look you get so why i'll just do a voiceover because man i'm as i'm telling you so you guys what has been happening tell me what's up i know you guys gave me um some question and answer time and you guys i tried to post it but it was refusing for some reason i don't even get why but it's okay as you can see i have filled in my brows and they look stunning so after getting the shape and filling it in for some reason god gave me like eyebrows like it was hair eyebrow hair like this side and then in this corner up here i'm missing here also up here i'm missing so i have to really fill it in that is me but if you already have like real eyebrows you don't have to fill in that much and then make sure the end the tips look uh really natural like not so different so afterwards that's when you go in with your concealer to conceal your eyebrows now um i usually use a very very light shade that is me as me mm? Don't say I'm giving you poison. Huh? This is me as me. I prefer to fill in this corner here with a very light shade. This corner. Because you have to start with your end, like with this. Um, are they called arches? Yes, you have to start with your arches first. So. So it gives your eyebrow a more defined look. You get? So when you fill in this part. drag it down you get the same thing applies to this other side i use elegal pro concealer this is the best concealer i guess first of all it's cheap secondly it has like a very good coverage afterwards this other side now i get a shade that is one shade lighter than my skin tone now for these other parts I used to conceal those days and yes concealing is good but then i got a friend some beautiful girl called Adu Charin. thank you so much baby girl you are such a goddess it's uh, there are very few beauty influencers that are actually willing to share their tips but she was willing to share her tip so for us she advised me to use uh this foundation and this foundation is one that was used by our mothers those those days like you know how our mothers used to just put foundation and then they gonga their faces are brown and their neck the body is black and they look and our fathers used to admire them. i look straight into them that was the hotness of those days so this foundation was uh, those foundations were good they had full coverage like heavy full coverage but then uh the new foundations of ours are a little bit light they are their quality isn't yet that good but again i don't like this for the skin because it's again too heavy you get so this is very good for concealing this is what i use but you can still use um you can still use a legal pro concealer any other concealer you have but this tip worked and i'm going to show you so i went and they are very cheap by the way this so you put it in your brush in your brush and then come here Like you guys, have you seen how detailed they make your work look? Hey! I don't know, don't know. But your eyebrows have to be snatched. Have you seen like um? Uh, hey! It's over. My guys, for some reason, this thing—I think it just wants me to show you guys some skin rubbish. People must relax. <laughs> it keeps falling, but let's keep going so afterwards um you guys i stopped this foundation i just went to my mother's place i'm like give me i own it so the next part the upper side you're going to line it with a shade that is exactly your skin tone you get so this is another color foundation and now i'm lining it up with a shade that is exactly my skin tone but then this time you come from this corner coming this side you get i'll be giving you guys detailed detailed tutorials of eyebrow alone 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 soon relax because the new surprise is coming soon so you start from the end and make sure when you're filling in do not reach this side because you want a natural look so start from around here you get dragging this to this side then the balance of the concealer that's remaining is when you push it this side okay? as you can see um this is what i have done so when um you put on the eyebrows you just push it now to the skin so that 
it doesn't look so heavy you get so i hope you've seen this eyebrow so i'm going to do the same thing this side of camera and then hey! okay sorry i make a lot of noise but yeah so that's the eyebrow look you get something that is nice it's simple very easy to make so afterwards i go in to put powder on my on my eyelid to avoid creasing so i have my powder palette as you can see it's very cute this is by the best palette you can buy because it has all shades you can see it has a contour shade concealing shade like natural colored shade still white so i advise you guys spend money buy this thing buy it buy it so come in with my powder on my eyebrow on my eyelid yeah so after doing this this is to prevent the oil yeah to prevent my eyelids from creasing so after doing that we go in with the eyeshadow look so i'm taking this palette it has a neutral nude colors i love this so much Red cut cell tape and stick to the side of your eye this will help you give you a sharper look you'll see so i uh, still saying we go in with a nude color and then you drag it from this side from from out coming in so i get this other palette of mine and um i'm going in with a, a bit of like maroon red on top to blend in the brown to so getting that as you can see you go in with your concealer hmm? and then you mark the lower part of your eye then you look up so have you seen where my like where my where the concealer has marked now that is where i'm supposed to cut my crease but if you notice if i look like this it's like you can't see anything so when you mark your crease like that add a bit above it so if it's cut here add to like this level here something very small so that even if i look like this my cut crease can be seen so yeah let me clean up and then i show you just cut my crease you use concealer to cut your crease so you first clean off the excess shadow that was there and then use the concealer on top so after that i go back with my palette and then i get the white shade and i tap on top after that i go in with my more palette and i go for this shade yeah and i top on top because i want that kind of like shimmer i'm targeting uh some a glitter like look you get but i hope i'm already looking stunning you guys like yo oh and i'm so sorry i am not talking that much i'm only talking about makeup and i know you want to catch up but baby that time is coming i just want us to first blow you know this year you girls decided to finish us i don't know what ghosts entered ugandan girls this year but they're like fire yeah, yeah. i like it Hmm. They are all looking so beautiful. Ladies, clap for yourselves. I am so grateful you guys have taken this initiative this year to take care of yourselves. You know, put yourself first mentally, emotionally, physically, beautifully. So I go back to this the nine nude palette and I go with this. Yeah. To blend my corners. Then we go in with the next step. And that's primer. Not to prime is a crime. So make sure you prime especially those t-zone areas you don't need to put a lot you get just make sure you put what's enough so after priming we go in with a, a a setting powder on the face like so that especially the t-zone areas so that your skin doesn't create like bring out a lot of oil i mean my skin is oily so you don't you don't put in so much just little and then you tap on those t-zone areas and then the excess you just rub it around next is foundation you guys i've tried looking for foundation that matches my skin color but it's only this this is the only foundation that actually matches my skin color i have tried and tried all types of foundation and this foundation is literally like thick enough you get you wait and see when i dab it in it doesn't need like a mixture or something it is full coverage and that is what i like i like full coverage but it feels light you get when something is full coverage but again it feels heavy on your skin now this is a full coverage foundation but it feels so light so just wait i dab it in and you guys after putting my foundation on my face i like going around with a setting spray and then i also set my brush and i start dabbing like have you guys seen how full coverage it is like damn i can actually go out like this but you know i haven't put 
any product under my eye because I'm already going to put concealer so you put foundation and concealer it becomes too much so let's put concealer I use one shade that's one shade lighter than my skin tone as you can even see so what you should one thing you should know is less is is uh, more so you come and only put on these sides the corners but I like dragging mine also to the nose so that gives myself a snatched nose wait for the concealer to sit I want, and these are locations that you put the concealer I want to tell you guys that blessings have been coming in my life I want to say thank you God and I hope you guys never forget to appreciate God never forget to appreciate your parents never forget to appreciate the people in your life that keep giving you guys blessings I'm so happy so many blessings have come into my life and those are one of the reasons of actually why I've also been very consistent on YouTube because I've gotten so busy in life that um i forgot i forgot to create content but trust me i'm going to try my best to create content every week however busy i am even if i'm in pakwatch i will create even if i'm in karamoja even if i'm where i will create so after blending the concealer i come back again with the lighter concealer only for the corners of the eye to give it that small spark yeah and then maybe the bridge of the nose a little and then i drop here so this is actually very enough so you blend it out the way i'm already looking snatched i don't know could don't know babies afterwards you go in with your contour you come in to this corner and then this other corner and then on the forehead like you know now me i have a very big forehead so i have to actually apply if you have a small forehead when you apply on these corners but if you have a big forehead like me it's good to apply the entire on the entire head so that the the shadows help your forehead look smaller you get my point and then you also apply now this is a trick most times people take it like till down but it's good to only start from here and end here do the same thing this side you get so that when you're blending it you blend it going downwards and it's not too much where it's too harsh it is just comfortable enough so let me blend this out and i come back. after applying your contour make sure your contour is also one shade or two shades darker than your skin tone so hope you can see i'm snatched that's when you go in with your setting powder this is a uh, naked so you apply it on your highlighted areas and then when you smile you know there are these creases so you also perfect so you let it to sit down you get as you are maybe contouring so let me be contouring as it's settling down for my contour i use this shirt this on my palette and then i move to going towards up i'm rubbing off i'm rubbing off the setting powder and you can see how it has highlighted my face after rubbing off I, I i now finish what i was doing remember i was setting my i mean so remember i was contouring my face and then don't forget to also contour the jawline because you want your jaws to look small okay to look small you babies you ladies you understand and then you go in under your eye to highlight it Okay. So I highlight your forehead. And then also the this is to snatch your face so that you look like you have smaller cheeks. In with your powder to also emphasize on the snatchness of the nose. So as you apply your blush, make sure you apply it up so that your face looks lifted. You get because you want a lifted kind of look. I lost my blush brush, so I'm using this to just for this time. So you blend it out. I love blush, so I feel like it gives that, you know. Applying your blush, you go in with your highlighter. I have this highlighter palette. So you get I hope you guys are taking notes, hoping you have a book because this is cool, you guys. So the only way you can pay me back is by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, telling me what other concept you want to see again. 
you get so that because we are family so that's the only way i can get payment so and then you go on your forehead too down your chin you know give yourself some highlight I purchased a fan. These be ones. It says happiness. Seems made to be shared. So you got your lips, you first start by moisturizing your lips, you know. Actually, this is supposed to be the first step. But I'd moisturize, but I feel like it has dried. Eh? Afterwards, you go into lining your lips. I think I'm going to do this off camera, but if you want a tutorial of how to do your lips, um, just let me know and I'll do it. After applying the, your lipstick or lip gloss or nude or whatever, you go in by outlining your lips with concealer. Yeah, it's over for you and for me. So you guys, this is a simple everyday look. A look you can go in for a dinner, for work, for anything going out with friends, for brunch. So basically, I hope you get see, I look good. <laughs> Oh good, and I hope you guys have written down the lessons. Hope you guys have learned something. Please, please, please always tell me what you want to see on my channel. Please tell me what you love, what you want me to teach you, especially about makeup, because I am here to stay. Let me show you guys a glance. Hey! It's over! It's over! But yeah, I hope you guys really love my makeup look. Sorry, today was just something about makeup. And you guys love when I make a lot of noise. But you know, the noise will come in between. But remember that I opened this channel to teach you guys to give back to YouTube. Because it's YouTube that taught me how to do my makeup. So I want to be able to also teach other people how to do their own makeup. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Till next time, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the gang. And remember, I am going to bring for you guys hot, hot, hot content. So I love you guys. Mwah.